G'day, this is Simon and James at a perfect South OC Cars and Coffee. How good's this weather? Oh, it's perfect. I love it. It's a little hot. Probably should have worn some shorts, but I'm not yep. so far. We don't want to see your legs, that's all. Fair enough. But, you know, seriously, I mean, we're heading, we are in fall and we're going to be in the 80s today. So it's an uh, amazing turnout. Some pretty cool stuff. What have you seen? Oh, uh, the LaFerrari in the front row. Probably one of the most expensive cars that we've had, sitting around $4 million. Wow. Uh, yeah, it's insane. It's an Aperta as well. So it's the convertible, which I absolutely love. Uh, what about you? Yeah, well, speaking of Ferraris, we have a 1965 uh, 330 GT, I think the gentleman yep. said it was. Um, amazing car, all original, so beautiful, just been restored. So we're going to check that in a while. I, I think we're going to be hard pressed to make anything else car of the week other than that. It's just so special. It's so, I love it. Hey, uh, enough of us. You go look at some exotics, I'll go look at some classics, and uh, let's take a walk. So this is a first for us. A Ferrari, La Ferrari showed up to the event today. This thing is stunning. It's kind of nice not to see it in red for once. This is a metallic black that it has with red accents and exposed carbon everywhere. Sporting a hybrid V12 making right around a thousand horsepower. Really nice Alcantara and carbon fiber interior. So crazy to think that this thing is worth around $4 million now. Honestly, I'd pay every penny for it. This thing is perfect, has such a crazy road presence and a timeless look as well, considering that these things were made in 2013 and 2014. Great turnout of motorcycles this morning, and why wouldn't you? Such a perfect day for being on a bike. Let's check them out. I had to get a video of this thing before it rolled out. It is a beautiful Nissan R34 GTR M spec new, so it is incredibly rare. One of my favorite things about it is that it's actually not finished in midnight purple, which is pretty much the only color that you ever see these in. It's in a really nice metallic kind of uh, light green. Really, really nice. Such an incredible presence to it, and it's aged so well for being a car from the mid 90s. Amazing too, because it's right hand drive, or as I like to call it, correct hand drive. Very, very nice. Thank you for coming out. One of my favorite Porsches of all time here, the 997 GT3 RS 4.0. Finished in a slate gray with red accents all over the place. You got like the red tips on the wings, red wheels on it as well with yellow brake calipers. With a six speed manual on a flat six. Just a perfect combination for an absolute track monster. I think this car has aged super well as well, given that it's almost 10 years old. It's just absolutely beautiful car.
Here's kind of the polar opposite of that awesome LaFerrari that we just looked at. This is a Ferrari 330 GT from 1965 uh, with the AV12 in it making right around 300 horsepower. It was fully restored in 2018 and it is most definitely going to be our car of the week this week. Such a neat car, really tidy engine bay. Nut and bolt restoration that went down on this thing. It is perfect. Really nice paint on it as well. Kept that factory look with the red and the chrome wheels. This thing is just stunning. Still has the classic wooden steering wheel and the wooden dash as well. Such iconic 60s. And it is a manual as well. Just perfect. Cobra, not a kid Cobra, made by Shelby in the 90s, but on that uh, original CSX 4060 uh, build. So 427, a couple of cool cars side by side, huh? So I walked up and started talking about this, thinking that uh, all of these cars, all of these Corvairs didn't use to handle particularly well. And somebody stopped me and said, hey, that's not exactly true. This is a 65 by 65. These things actually handled very, very well and were a direct competitor against things like Porsche. So I'm really glad, glad the guy stopped me because obviously uh, I didn't know what I was talking about with that, but uh, this particular car's had a lot of work done to it, uh, including the full roll cage. And down in there, you can actually see the intake manifold's actually all been metal 3D printed. The father of the owner was telling me. So look at that beautiful roll cage that's in there. Quick release steering wheel. Some serious dollars being spent on this. So, hey, to the uh, gentleman that stopped me and corrected me, thank you so much for telling me that. Otherwise, I would have said that you know all, all Corvairs didn't handle well, but in fact, it was the first couple of years they didn't, and then by '65 they really had it all sorted. So, you learn something every day, and really appreciate somebody pointing that out to me. The people we see, our regular Simon, Dallas. How what's are you, up, buddy? How are you, man? Great to be here, mate. What Always a, good to have you what here. What a warm day today. So this I know a... you. You pull some strings. Those of you overseas may not know. Dallas is our local uh, star meteorologist. That's and, right. That's and, right. And a regular of South OC Cars and, and Coffee. I love here. This is like the best car show, cars and coffee anywhere. You guys need to come. Gals need to come check it out. We have so much fun. We do. It's always great to see and you. And today mate. it's like sunny and 80 degrees on the beach. Yeah, what's well, because of you? You pull all this good weather out for I me, do the mate. the best I can do. So you you still got your Pantera? Still have the Pantera. Loving the Pantera. Yeah. I did. Um, I was racing my Cayman three weeks ago up at Willow, and I did sling a rod in the Cayman. Oh no! Ah, it was awful bummer. But uh, it's getting tired. The yep. engine had over 100,000 miles. Oh so wow! I'm going to rebuild it and yep. go with the four liter. Oh, good for yeah, you. Then, then we won't be able to stop you. Yeah. Well, mate, it's always great to have you here. Great to see you, uh, Everybody you. loves seeing this guy walking around. So let's do it tonight. Ready? Get yep. your left foot yep. tonight at 11. Tonight at 11. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dal. It's good Thanks to see you, mate. Appreciate it.
So here we have the brand new Rivian. Made a big splash this week. Uh, they basically opened up on Wall Street and got a huge numbers, Ford being one of the investors. But they say they're now worth more than the traditional automakers, which I struggle to get my head around, but I guess there's people that know more about that stuff than me. But this is serial number two, and this is a factory car as well. Beautiful color. We'll see if we can get them back at once at some stage and maybe take it for a drive. Good to see you. But uh, it's actually, the, the front of it at first really polarized people, but um, Sarah and I were talking about it the other day. I actually like the look of it because it looks a bit different, but it's a good looking thing. Now it's not a replacement for a 1500 Silverado. You're not gonna, I wouldn't personally feel comfortable throwing a couple of pallets of stuff in the back of it, but it's still a cool vehicle. not something you see every day great looking old Hudson here look how plush those seats are and that beautiful wood dash and that uh, inline engine in there with a flathead what a great old car it's so cool somebody just said two-tone dash on the wood I love seeing cars like this what a great yeah look at it two different timbers in there two different woods yeah oh great looking old car great to see it Hey, that's it for another week at South OC Cars and Coffee. What an amazing turnout. Those bookend Ferraris, you know, the La Ferrari and that amazing old 65. What a cool thing to see both at the same time. I huh? know, it's like the dynamic duo. The polar opposites, but such awesome cars. Uh, speaking of which, huge shout out to the, all the sponsors for making this show possible. We've got Meguiar's, Polestar, Share Your Car, Next Level Detailing, Teen Road to Safety, Pacific Air Cooled, BMW Performance Center West, 
and then Sweet Orange Adventures as well. And huge shout out to all the volunteers for helping us put on this show each and every week. We really couldn't do it without them. Yep. Do remember that if you do want to become a volunteer, hit us up on Instagram on our merchandise page at South OC Cars and Coffee Merch. While you're there, make sure to drop us a follow as well. That's where you can keep up to date with all the merchandise that we're going to be dropping. Uh, benefits of becoming a volunteer is that you do get to bring your car in yep. early. And then Ruby's Diner does also provide a free coffee and donut for anyone that's helping us out. Absolutely. And a big thank you, of course, to Ruby's for everything those guys do. It's always great to have them out here with the coffee and the donuts. And of course, for Rockwell's uh, looking after everyone that's here as well. And a big thank you to the outlets of San Clemente for allowing us to be here. We couldn't do that without them. So please make sure to support all of those businesses. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow before uh, below. Have a great week. We'll see you back here next week for another South OC Cars and Coffee. Thank you, guys.